Yo, what's happening, my people? So, happy to do this review right here, man. So, this is Mac Miller Circles. So, this is his first posthumous album since he passed and stuff, man. And, uh, let's get into this project, man. Uh, what was your favorite Mac Miller project, man? My favorite was Kids. That's where I first uh, heard about him and stuff. I remember he did a This Is 50 interview. And that was my first time ever hearing him. I went look at his videos and I was like, damn, his video is nice and stuff. I was like, he kind of cold. And I've been a fan ever since then, man. And hate to see that the brother, brother went and stuff, man. But glad to be able to do this review and his honor and stuff, man. Grab your tissues and stuff when you listen to the album and stuff, man. Just, uh, like the songs and stuff, he has good messages in there. And just thinking about him and stuff, like, I know a lot of the fans and stuff, like, just looking at the comments on YouTube on his new songs and stuff, like, I see a lot of people are emotional and stuff, and rightfully so, man. He was gone too soon. But this is 12 songs, 49 minutes, and let me start it off. Track 1, Circles. Very somber, laid-back, melodic track. Hard to change when we end up just going in circles and stuff, man. He have a lot of, like, little hidden gems and stuff in a lot of the music uh, on this project. Number two, complicated. Synth heavy, 80 sounding joint. This is one of my not so favorite joints on here. Number three, Blue World. Up tempo, joyous song. So much things in the world to drive you crazy, but you could choose not to let it get to you. Like sonically, it doesn't sound, it's not one of my favorite sounding tracks on here, but I love the message on here. Uh, Number four, good news. Good news, the only thing people... People want to hear, but when when you down, when you down, they just leave you. They just leave you hanging and stuff, man. Like people love love to hear good good things and stuff, but man, whenever you in a rut in these hard times and stuff, like they just kind of go they they own way. They just yeah. So that's just kind of probably some emotions he was feeling and stuff, man. I'm I'm pretty sure the way he made the song. Number five, I Can Sleep. This is my favorite song on the project. I love his flow on here. If life is only a dream, show me something I can see and stuff, man. I just I just love the way it sounds. I like the little beat, the way the beat starts off. Like it's a funny kind of beat, but then it, it mellows down and then his flow on there. Like like he, he his flow is nice, but then he ends it off with like the, the same song he kind of uh, vibe. But that's my favorite song on here. Number six, Everybody. I can see this being a fan favorite. A good song, man. It's not one of my, my favorite songs necessarily, but I like the song. But I can see this one because he mentions, <laughs> he kind of mentions something like about death on here. I can see some people like listening to this song and like shedding tears and stuff, like thinking about Mac and and stuff because he says something about like uh, our last days and stuff before we go on or something like this like like over over and over in the song and stuff number seven woods laid back chill another joint that give me like them them 80s vibes and this is a uh, like a female kind of song number eight hand me downs this sound like a john mayer kind of kind of track but I really do like this song, man. In the hand-me-downs and stuff. And then when you kind of listen close about what the song is about. Like, it's kind of like a female joint. But he kind of talk about, like, uh... Like, I know you come from a single-parent household and stuff like that. But me and you, we get together and we can hand down these jeans. Like, not talking about blue jeans and stuff. He like, we can hand down these jeans, like, to a future generation and stuff. We can have some babies. Like, let's have some babies and hand down our jeans and stuff. So... I think that's what he was trying to, to say on this joint, man. I, I really like that song. Like, this is a smart concept. Number nine, That's On Me. Another one that reminds me of a, uh, of a John Mayer song. Uh, in the song, the song that it reminds me of is uh, Do You Know Me. Do you know me? Like that. They, they kind of beat on it. It, it kind of reminds me of the other John Mayer. Yeah, I like John Mayer. I don't own it. Uh, where I'm at, where I'm at. Number 10, Hands. Uh, I like I like this one. 
I don't like the beat too much on here, but I like this one because he he's rapping on here. Like he kind of raps on a lot of stuff, but it's more like more like sing song. He like this one he kind of like rap raps. So I kind of like that, even though he does sing at the end of the song though. And I'm not I'm not knocking his singing or anything, but I got into him like more of a rapper. So it, it's nice to hear him just just like plainly rap on a song. Number eleven, Surf. A nice vibe. He got a bluesy kind of feel to it, like like the, the blues and stuff. I, I like this. Number twelve, Once a Day. This is a, a good good way to complete the project. Uh, it's like a parting message to the fans, man. Like like his last like like message to to everybody. Uh, you you kind of like all mean something. Everybody means something. Everybody special in their own way. And once a day, you can have you should have like daily reminders of stuff, or you should do things the once a day for yourself, or once a day to make that make you happy and stuff. So, uh, it he he said a lot of real things on here, man. Like like just paying attention to his words and stuff, and what he was he was feeling at the time and stuff, man. He it was a great great way to end off his his uh, catalog. I, he probably has more music in the tuck. But just this was was a uh, like swimming circles. It was like two projects uh, together, like it was supposed to like like coincide. It wasn't supposed to release together, but it coincided with each other. Like swimming was his last project when he was alive. But then circles, it was supposed to be like swimming in circles and stuff. So I, I like this, this this joint, man. I wasn't gonna give it a number value because Mac Miller passed away and stuff, but but uh. It's a good project, man. I, I like it. I give it. I give it a nine out of ten. And am I saying a nine out of ten because he passed? Like maybe, maybe it might be a little nostalgia and stuff, man. But just my first listening stuff, man. I really like the project, man. I really like like some of the beats. I was like the most crazy about, man. But like even some of the beats I didn't like. I, I love the concepts in the little messages he was saying in the music. So that's my thoughts on this, man. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section, man. What are your your favorite songs from the project, man? What are your favorite memories of Mac Miller or something? How did you become a fan or whatever? Shit, like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest and most hated, man. Holla at your boy. Peace out.